the idea is that sort of the frameworks and the models that we use for smallholder and community forest management don't always gel with what we actually see on the ground. And so that you have all of these smallholders who are on the forest farm interface who are managing um, forests that are not necessarily high value forests, but they're degraded forests, or they're Swidden agricultural areas, or they're um, secondary species, um, different types of products. They may not be managing um, round wood, but they're managing posts and poles, and again, secondary species, NTFPs. Um, and they may, you know, they have um, different ways of entering into markets that are both formal and informal. Um, of course, local institutions that that either um, mesh or don't with with formal institutions, um, and then um, different ways of doing decision making. And I think we often assume that communities make decisions in collective ways, and we know that that's actually not necessarily true across the board. So we're just actually starting on this journey of trying to rethink the paradigm for smallholder and community forest management and really looking back over a lot of the work that C4 has done and trying to some, consolidate some of the lessons learned and I think then think creatively about how to move forward from there. Do you have some preliminary ideas about what we need to do? You know, <laughs> I mean, I think it's, it's that first, we, we've talked about this yet and we're not yet there. Um, it's just really starting. But I think first acknowledging that diversity that I mentioned earlier. So so um, trying to understand the, the, the breadth of the kinds of management that's actually happening on the ground and, and how smallholders on that forest farm interface could actually engage in something more formal. Um, if, if community forest management is, is to be supported by external actors, what are the best avenues for doing that given the local realities? Because what you're saying at the moment is that if things continue where they are, it's, it's Work. Yeah, I think we just see time and time again the failures of, um, there's a lot of achievements. I mean, I think that's what's, it was important for me to stress that, even at the FSC process, the um, social forestry program that they've, they've, they've started, the group certification, the slow, the small, low impact managed forests, the SLIMPs, um, you know, they've done a lot of work along that, but I think uh, we see time and time again tens of millions of dollars being thrown at communities and, you know, very, very, I don't know, do the benefits really, really reflect that kind of expense and, and what are the actual implications for the people who live and work in those forests? Yeah, and I think and I think actually maybe build something that's a little bit more genuine um, based on what's actually happening on the ground. Again, I don't want to discount what's been done because there's a lot of important pilot initiatives. I think a lot of that money was spent to try and understand you know, to really glean some important lessons. Um, but I think we're all sort of disenchanted with seeing time and time again community forestry fails, com families drop out of programs, tens of millions of dollars being spent for small areas. What What is the real impact of all of that money and, and work? I mean, I think, again, it's, it's really important to look back over you know, three decades of community forest management work and, you know, almost that in terms of research that's accompanied these processes. And I think really time to consolidate lessons learned from really across the, the globe of, of these different examples and then get a creative group of thinkers together to try and move forward and, and set up some new ways of thinking about these problems. Okay, so it's really yeah. time to think outside the box and come up with some new. Yeah, I think you know, and I think this is really you know, this has been um, initiated under under Peter Cronkleton's leadership, and I think it's um, a great idea, and a lot of people are getting on board with with trying to move forward in that way under this new CRP six one um, smallholder and community forest management research program.